Hello everyone, welcome to Stay Tuned with Dorothy. I'm Dorothy and I'm here with Everybody's Gone to the Rapture, Jeremy's Story. It's the part 4. Please enjoy! Dr. Wade, here you are. There's a queue of patients a mile long out there. Just send them to the village hall with the others, please, Bob. Doctor, people are scared. Mrs. Gable's just called me and said her husband's vanished. She was very frightened. She said there was blood coming up from his ears and his nose... What the hell do you want me to do? Until they lift the quarantine, we're not going anywhere. Just tell them to drink plenty of fluids, stay warm, and follow the instructions on the radio. Doctor, Phil, please, you have a duty to your patient. Nose. Now I have said that this alien light came from the stars and caused all of this, but probably it's something else. And it just came to save them. I don't know to say the truth. I don't know what's going on. I just say what I have saw in this game.
You have to make a decision, Lizzie. Especially now. I do love him, Father. I... I love them both. He's married. There are other people involved in this. Oh, I hardly think that anyone's in the position to claim the moral high ground, do you? Well, I take your point about Stephen. And Robert. But I, I think Kate might see things differently. Do you? I mean, she's not screwing anyone else, pardon my French, but she spends all day and night locked up in that observatory. Stephen says they barely see each other. That's hardly a marriage, is it? The magnetic field is causing disruptions to phone signals and the rest of the electrics. There are voices on the line. It's 4 a.m. Maybe everyone is up looking at the light show. Did I forget someone? Okay, actually I'm gonna leave it here. Thank you everyone for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment and share. Have a great day. See you all next time. Bye bye.